17 years, I normally look at antique silver on the roadshow, but I have a secret passion. Mm -hmm. And these are my secret passion, electric guitars. I've been in love with them since the age of 12, maybe 13. Mm -hmm. Now, how many have you got? At the moment, I've got about 80. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, you brought along mm -hmm. one particular guitar mm -hmm. that is full of wonderful memories for me, mm -hmm. because on my 13th birthday, mm -hmm. I went to a guitar shop in Surbiton in mm -hmm. Surrey, and I saw this particular guitar here, mm -hmm. which I think is a Watkins Rapier, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. So it, it should date from around that time. Was, am I talking about 1960? Three? Yes, they date from the early 60s up until about the mid-60s. Right. And I saw this hanging on the wall, mm -hmm. and I thought it was absolutely wonderful. So mm -hmm. I went home to my parents and said, I want an electric guitar, <laughs> I want an amplifier. They said, it was far too expensive. <laughs> I got a feeling this was about 30-something pounds, wasn't it, at the time? I think at the time it was about 29, um, <laughs> 29 pounds, 19 and 11, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next to this, mm -hmm. we've got a guitar which I've heard about mm -hmm. but never seen and it's it's called a Dallas well this is the Dallas tuxedo which uh, is quite legendary in the guitar world because it was the very first guitar that was commercially built in this country and this one dates from about 1957 to 58 fantastic mm -hmm. right now lastly mm -hmm. uh, this is a, an unusual guitar well this is um, the Gretsch Travelling Wilburys, which was a promotional guitar. Oh, right. Um, I've heard about these. Well, of course, it's got the signature, oh. or the facsimile signature, of the five Travelling Wilburys. Ah, look at that. The... So we got um, Nelson, that was um, George Harrison. Uh, Lucky is uh, Bob Dylan. Otis is Jeff Lynn of mm -hmm. um, Electric Light like Orchestra. Mm -hmm. Charlie T is uh, Tom Petty of uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, mm -hmm. and uh, Lefty is Roy Orbison. Yes, it, it was. That, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I suppose as now yeah. two of them are no longer with us. Yeah. So this is probably going up in value, isn't it? Well, it, I think they have gone up very considerably. I've got to ask you, mm -hmm. uh, which guitar do you like playing the most? Well, Alistair, I was hoping you wouldn't ask me <laughs> because I, I'm not actually a guitarist. What? <laughs> What? I'm, I'm a drummer. This is, this is all the front. <laughs> You're a drummer. I yes, can't I can't believe it. I, I am, and um, I, I've never been able to play guitar. And I think probably one of the reasons that I, I collect guitars is because I'd love to be able to play them, <laughs> but I haven't got the ability to do so. And I have tried over the years. And um, I brought somebody with me, right, to, uh, who can demonstrate. For old time's sake, mm. I'd love to hear what the Watkins Rapier sounds like. So let's hand it over to. Mm -hmm. him and Thank you very give much. us a a twiddle mm -hmm. very old <laughs> <laughs> 